Nigeria, where the recent false cancer in the country continue to impact the lives and livelihood of Nigerians, especially in the business sector. Now, the government has been spending a substantial amount of money to subsidize fuel prices to help citizens afford its cost. But this may not continue for a long time as the government intends to remove fuel subsidies by the end of the year. Now, as Nigerians go to the poll in 2023, some analysts observe that removing the subsidies could trigger a political retaliation. Here's more details of that in the state port. Without these generators, Paul Udeke's business would have grounded to a halt as he relies more on them to power his office. But he says with the recent petrol scarcity, it's been very tough keeping the generators running. We are running generator from morning to about close of work. And if we look at the cost we spend daily, in terms of the fuel that we buy to run the office. We're talking about between an average between five and 10,000 Naira. And if you multiply it, if you multiply it by 30, for 30 working days, I mean, definitely the cost, I mean, is huge. Petro Dweka could have been spending far more than he currently spends for a liter of petrol if there was no subsidy on the product. The government currently spends an estimated $1.45 a subsidy on a litre of petrol, which is more than three times what the product is sold for at filling stations. With the global price of crude rising, the government now says its annual subsidy bill on petrol is about 4 trillion naira or $9.6 billion. Despite the huge cost, the government says it will retain the subsidy until next year, when it hopes some of the country's refineries will become operational. Because Mr. President is a very human president, and is concerned for the plight of our people, especially the less privileged. He believes that the impact that removal of subsidy will have on the vulnerable, poor and vulnerable Nigerians should be mitigated. And he believes that certain structures must be put in place prior to the removal of subsidy. The issue of subsidy removal is a politically contentious subject in Nigeria. In spite of strong economic arguments for its removal, the government has not been able to remove it, fearing a political backlash. It's very clear that the political consideration is a major factor in this decision. There's no doubt about it. Uh, if you have election coming up next year and you are talking about a subsidy removal, and you know the, the the current social condition, you know, you know the level of poverty. Quite a number of citizens are on edge as a result of the very devastating impact of inflation and an exaggerated depreciation over the last one or two years. So any little trigger, apart from creating all sorts of social disruptions, is going to have a very significant uh, political implication in terms of political cost. With the ballooning subsidy bill, the government will surely struggle to carry on with things as they are until next year, when it plans to remove it completely. People like Udweka are already preparing their mind for the inevitability. If they are going to remove the subsidy, that means they also they, they need to balance it. They need to look at our own end too, as well. That we, the business people, we, the Nigerians, you know, how are we going to be able to manage the situation? For now. The government is soldiering on with the subsidy, but it remains to be seen whether it will be able to carry the burden until next year.